Hey there, whiskey lovers. Luke here again with another whiskey review. And today I have Lafroy Triple Wood. I finally got myself a bottle. Um, yeah, so Lafroy Triple Wood is, I, I, it's like the third step up in their line. A 10 year old uh, quarter cask, Triple Wood, and then cask drink. I think price wise, basically, at least where, for what's available for me. Um, and so Triple Wood is similar to quarter cask where they take the, the core Laphroaig spirit and they do their normal ex bourbon uh, maturation and then with quarter cask they transfer it to quarter cask and then you get the spirit after it's done maturing in those quarter casts. With triple wood they mature it in the quarter cask and then they mature it again further in uh, Oloroso sherry casks. So and thus the triple wood, ex bourbon, quarter cask, and Oloroso sherry cask. So um, it should be, you would think, similar to the quarter cask, but with some sherry notes, right? Yes, yes, that's what you get. So um, <clears throat> I'm going to add a little water. It's bottled at 48%. It's non chill filtered. Um, I don't know about color. Uh, it's pretty much just straight amber. So um, who knows about that? But. Um, it is non-chill filtered, so that's great. Doesn't need a whole lot of water, but well, it depends on if you like the real heavy peat. Today I'm feeling the heavy peat, so I'm not going to add a ton. But uh, yeah, you, you, it doesn't really actually need that much water. It's it's quite tasteable even at full strength. Anyways, on the nose, yes, that Lafroy character, which is a, a medicinal peat bomb, basic, basically smoky, heavy. Punch in the face with with the smoke. It seems to me less now. It's been a while since I tasted the Freud Ten Year and the Quarter Cast, but it does seem uh, less rough around the edges than the other Freuds that I've tasted or smelled, as the case may be. Smoky, uh, slightly salty. There's a there's a burnt match note that kind of fades in and out. Charred wood. As far as the sherry character goes, it comes through as this musty, sweaty, heavy, raisiny note. It just makes the, the smokiness feel very thick and rich. And then uh, it does have a lot of expert maturation that does come through here, although it's hard to get at that bourbon maturation with all this, this smoke that's in this, this whiskey. All right, taste. Mm -hmm. Lots of peat. Like I said, not it's pretty drinkable, even for being bottled at 48%. With a little bit of water, no problem. The, the heavy mustiness that's in the nose is also in the taste. It's almost sweaty. It's got a nice sweetness. Almost, I would say, like a smoked ham kind of sweetness with the smokiness, of course, coming through. Charred wood. Finish-wise, you get a little bit of, of oakiness, a little bit of raisin. But mostly what I get is kind of like a dry charcoal thing. And it sticks around with you, that little bit of charcoal smokiness. One more taste. Hmm. So it kind of comes on light, a little bit of like, like a bourbon matured whiskey. And then you get a punch of smoke, some sweetness, some oakiness, and then it fades down to that, that uh, dry charcoal. Good. Yeah, the, the, the bourbon maturation, if you, if you stop and pay attention, it really does come through in this. But the sherry kind of fills it out, makes it thick and heavy, and of course it's Laphroaig, so it's nice and... Peaty, punch in the face. So my rating for this 
is 91 out of 100. I love this stuff. Great. Um, I like I said, it's been a while since I tasted quarter cask and ten year old, but uh, I might say that this is this is even more tasty than the quarter cask. Quarter cask is is a little bit more rougher on the edges, so if you kind of like that character, maybe quarter cask is better. But triple wood does have a lot going on, uh, and it's very interesting to taste. And if you love Lafroy, can't go wrong with this one. So Lafroy triple wood, ninety one out of hundred, and that'll be that. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye.